Alright guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Xbox tutorial, and uh, in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to build a T-flip-flop, and one of the uses for this is turning a button into a lever, and uh, an example of this is regular button does its regular motion, but it doesn't alternate the piston. The piston stays down, and when you hit it again, you can keep the piston up. So it's really useful in a lots of different designs uh, for redstone and Minecraft. Well guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we are. Uh, as you can tell, the four iron blocks are s right here in front of you. Uh, these are not needed for the design. These are simply for reference for the actual T flip-flop switch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get two regular pistons and go ahead and put them facing each other horizontal with two spaces in between them. And once you have that, we'll be able to move on to the next step, which is on the left piston, you're going to want to dig one block down and place a redstone torch, just like that. Now, on the block that you did not dig down, to the left of the rightmost piston, you're going to want to put uh, any block that can hold redstone. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of block, as long as redstone uh, can go through it. Alright, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and add two blocks on top like that. Make sure there's an air, air pocket, uh, air block, between the redstone torch and the top block. Uh, then that way you know you're doing it right. So it should form an L shape, just like that. Okay, once you have that done, on the two blocks that you just placed, go ahead and put redstone torches on the ends above the pistons and you'll notice one piston will extend the one over the redstone torch and on top of this you're going to want to put redstone dust on top of the two blocks that you uh, put the redstone torches connected to alright once that's done you're going to want to make another L shape but this time it'll be on top and on the right column of stone bricks, you're going to want to place that one block to make the L shape. And on top of that block, you're going to want to put the redstone torch. So now your redstone on top should be lit up just like that. Okay. So this is the basic T flip-flop right here. And I'll just show you how to run signals in and out. All right. So here it is, just like that, but uh, on this one I'll show you where the signals will be going in and out. So, for an input signal, say like a button, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the signal into this block. So I'm going to place my iron block right here, put redstone dust on top of it, and you'll see that the redstone dust is in a straight line into this block and they are diagonal. Now this is very key. It doesn't really matter where you run the redstone from here, but this step is very key because this redstone has to run into this block to be able to turn this torch off to be able to for the pistons to move the block on top of this torch. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and run this redstone right here and we're going to put another block and a button on this one. So when we hit the button, you see the block and the pistons move, and when we hit it again, they move off of it. So since this is the input, the output will be right here, lined up with this redstone torch. Let's go ahead and, uh, again, this first redstone is the most important. Now you can't run redstone um, this way too far because it may interact with the pistons in an irregular fashion, just uh, be wary of that. But if you run it straight out like this, uh, you'll be good. So as you can see when I push the button, the block gets pushed over this torch, which powers the block, which powers this redstone. So like in the beginning, I had a piston. Here, I'll go ahead and place one right there. So the power stays on as long as this block's here. But as soon as you touch the button again, the block moves and the signal gets cut off, causing the piston to go down. And uh, same same thing in this design. Um, just go ahead and got my block. 
button, and then piston goes up, hit it again, and piston goes down. And now this can be implemented in many, many ways. This is a good use for multiple buttons because you can run multiple lines of buttons into this uh, circuit, allowing from for you to be able to cross, say, bridges and things like that, which is actually the next tutorial I'll be doing, is a too deep drawbridge that uh, will be fairly effective because you can't just hop out on the other side. So look forward to that, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.